everyone, it is Twin Place here, back on the video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. It's just been a bit. We recently left off with the um, notification. Now, if you're new to this channel, feel free to go and click that subscribe button and that post notification. It means so much to me. And I know you're probably here like, oh, wow, this is a tutorial. So maybe I should give some support too. So thank you guys. Also, join the Discord too. Um, we're going to do a giveaway at 1,000 members. We're at 800. It's pretty amazing. So thank you. Um, so... Today, we're going to be doing glow bands. Now, if you are here from, let's say, the tool color change video or glow sticks, I am giving you guys a bundle, okay? I'm going to be showing you what we did for the model and how I did this. Now, guys, I'm sorry. I may look like a mess. I did freaking um, do this. I, it took me a whole day, the whole day today, to just make this. So, Because um, I was kind of confused with some things, but uh, I wanted to figure out how I should do this. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to explain to you how this works. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to description and look for models. Now, there's going to be two models, okay? Depending on how you want to do this. Let's say if if you guys want the rest of the tools from my last few videos, if you're here from that, then go grab this one right here. This is going to be the bundle, and this is going to have everything inside of it, um, including glow bands, knife, lightsaber, and glow sticks. So feel free to grab that. Or if you just want the glow bands, just go ahead and grab this one, which is the separate version. So what you're going to do is you're going to go grab those and click them and clean them. And you're basically going to go to a toolbox in your studio and go to your inventory. Now, I'm going to import both, and I'm going to show you both of them. But when I click on this, it's going to import it. And then when I import the other one, which should be up here, but mine was actually over here, it's going to import the other one. So, there's a few things, you know, it's going to look like come out here and shiz. That's just, that's just what it's like. So, um, basically, I'm just going to go off the bat real quick. Now, what I did for this one was I just added the glow bands folder. So, all you guys need to do is actually just ungroup them in the right places. So, you can honestly just move these two together. So, put like uh, in workspace. So, move all this in workspace and call it good. And then server script, server storage, uh, just grab here and then, you know, grab these guys, put them in here. And then ungroup together and then we'll go right here and then we'll put this in server script and then actually we'll grab this game pass one put this in game pass um and you can go watch my other videos on explaining how this works and what you can do with them and then replicate storage and then all you actually need to do is delete that and then feel free to ungroup all these and there you go that's the bundle um but so explaining the real thing okay so we're going to talk about the glow pans so what I did was I had to think about how do I want to do this? Um, do I want to have it where the player like either has a GUI that they open? Is it free? Is it Game Pass? Or is it, you know, how, how do they do this? Um, I came up with a few things and I was like, okay, this doesn't really make like sense. And I don't really know how to script this. So I decided to give you guys an easy way and something pretty cool you can uh, advance on. Oh, what the heck is that? Okay, get that out of the way. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the folder and we're going to ungroup this real quick. So we're going to grab this into replicated. We're going to go to server storage. We're going to go to server script. We're going to go to workspace and we're going to delete this folder. And then we're going to right click, ungroup, right click, ungroup. And we're going to keep doing the following. And then we're going to look at a few things. So automatically we have a few things. Okay. Uh, new vids. Let's just, I'll put it in replicated first. You can't really see that. Um, but um, what it is, is we have uh, glow parts and workspace, glow band events, and then we have this server script stuff. Now, actually, I'm going to put this server storage again. Sorry, guys. I just need to just put it in there for now. We're just going to not worry about it. So in these, we have a few things, okay? We have the glow parts, which is a folder. This, this is going to hold every glow part that the player makes. I'm going to show you why. Because we have to make new parts, you know, like... We have to put them on the player's body, which is because we have to add them to workspace and stuff. You'll see what I mean. And then we have the events, which is going to be left arm event, left leg event, right arm event, and right leg event. Um, I'm going to get into deep, more detail about these events and what you can do to add more. But, um, yep. And then we have the game pass giver, glow band script, which is the main script. We have the glow bands tool and then the glow band part. The part is what we're playing on the body. Now, disclaimer, I'm just going to talk about this right now. Let's say there's a few things, okay? With R15, the characters are all like different sizes, okay? And, you know, you can't really have one size that's going to fit best on one person. So, looking at mine, okay? Now, this is the old R15 or normal R15. If I go and bring this into workspace, bro, what is that thing, bro? There's like a bug or a 
a mosquito or something. So I brought this into workspace and we're gonna go to move and we're gonna bring this, we're gonna drag this over here so I can show you what I mean. So like this, this part is what's gonna be showing on your body. And if you wanna size it differently, you can. Um, it should just end up like this. So it should just show up like this probably right there if I'm right. Now, um, sometimes the sizes can be weird. You can make them bigger just by going to the scale tool, changing it up, change it to the side, you know, do whatever you want to do with that. Um, and then also, if you want to change it from neon to something else, go in material down here, you can do like force field. You know, I just realized that that should be pretty sick. So maybe I'll go into more into that. Um, and then, yeah, so that's pretty much that. And we're gonna cut this back in the server storage. This is the part that we're duplicating on a player's bodies. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna wonder what this tool is. I'm gonna show you in a bit here and a few things you can do. But we have the Game Pass Gamer right giver right here, and inside it you have the Game Pass ID and then you have the name of it right here. So just put your Game Pass ID right here if you are gonna be creating a Game Pass for this, and this will be perfect. What we're doing is if they have the Game Pass, we're gonna get this thing in server storage and we're gonna put it to their backpack. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you another way you can do this with this just GUI if you want, like just straight up GUI, um, then you'll be able to just do that with another, like instead of tool. Um, but that gives you the tool and then we have the main script and then events. Now we're gonna go into the tool and pretty much just talk about it. Uh, let me actually just play the game and show you what it is because you guys are gonna like this. Okay, so. You're going to load in and it's going to have this, like I said, you're going to get it. And we had to do a few things. We had to make sure people can't drop this tool, but I'm going to show you. So right when I pull this up, it's going to pop up a GUI, right? When I unequip it, it's going to put it away. We got this GUI. It's really cool, you know, and you're like, wow. Okay. Why is there a humanoid? Why is there a player on my screen? Well, that's because we're making the selection. Now I want to inform you, you guys can change this, do whatever you want to it. It does not have to look like this. You can do literally anything. So make your own player buttons and all that stuff. I'll show you in a bit here, but don't worry about it. So as you can see, when I hover over something, it has this little button effect. That is because that is what you're going to be pressing. Now, the chest and the head don't have anything because why would you have a thing for that? But that's basically what we're doing. Now, this is version one, guys. I want to be straight up with you. This is version one. Um, I don't plan on making another video for it, but maybe just updating it later when I want to update my game uh, Because at the moment it does not feature two glow bands um, Just one on each body part and we're gonna show you so just be aware of that and um, it, it, it you know, it's just like kind of plain, but you can change that so When I click on one of these It's gonna pull up this glow band pretty cool, right? Wow. So you're going to get the glow band, glow band and it's going to be put on your upper like left right arm. Okay. Wherever you click and then it's going to pull up this screen now. So how this works and then let's say I put this away, it's going to be on you forever. And then if I reset, it's going to get rid of it and it's going to reset the whole thing. So how this works is basically it puts it on your arm and every time you go and equip it or not, um, it like, will have this GUI part. So you gotta change the colors. Now I just realized I accidentally don't make this where yeah, what it, the problem is now I'm gonna have to fix is every time they pull this out, resets it. So I'm gonna update the model real quick. But inside it, um, it has a few things. So when you click it, it's gonna have the colors pop up. Now the reason I have this pop up is so they don't create more glow bands because you don't want a bunch of people spamming glow bands. See how I had four already? That's cause I didn't really realize that. So I need to fix that. But Basically, right when we have that happen, if I click any of these colors, it's going to change them. Pretty cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. And then anytime I click the other ones, it's going to pop them all on my body. So if I want yellow on the bottom, maybe some blue and red or blue and blue, you know, kind of cool jazz like that. So that's that's what we're doing. Every time they click that button, though, it's going to create glow bands and it's going to put them in here. See how there's just so many? Yes, yeah, that's not good. So... What I'm trying to do is, uh, for the second version, fix that. But um, I'm gonna quickly fix this GUI so it doesn't do that. But um, yeah, let me let me do that real quick. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the uh, main thing with this. Now, how this works is it's a tool, and we have this open and close script, and then we have everything else inside of it. What this open and close script does is, right when they equip it, it is gonna create the GUI, and then um, it is gonna tween it up. So when they uh, equip it, it's going to tween it up. When they unequip it, it's going to tween it 
Ow. So it's going to get rid of it. Uh, you can mess with these tweens if you want. Feel free to. Um, but that's your choice. That's just where it positions. So you, you might want to mess with that. And actually, if you want to know how to mess with that, you just go to this frame and look for position right here. And that's where you're going to know when you want to change these and where it's going to be in the screen. So we're going to just undo that. This is just an easy tool, equip and unequip. We're making the pcall function and we're double checking if they have the GUI. And if they don't have it, then we're going to create it and all that jazz. So the match it works. So inside it, we have the frame. Now I'm actually just going to Sorry, let me just bring this in the starter GUI to show you. So inside here, we have a few things. We have the body parts, and then inside body parts, it has the chest, and then left arm button, right arm button, all that jazz, and then left arm colors, and they're invisible, but they're on top of the buttons, which is what we're doing. And let's say if I put it visible, see how it does that? You can buy the thing. That's basically what we're doing. So in here, we have the main script. Now, it looks like a lot. Don't worry, it's not that much. Um, we're just calling a lot of locals. So we're grabbing the left arm event, we're grabbing all the events, we're grabbing the buttons and the colors. So right when we click this button, okay, so right when we click this left arm button right here, it is going to fire the server. So it's going to send it up to the server side, and I'm going to talk about that later. And then it's going to make this gray thing invisible, and it's going to make this pop up. It's going to make this pop up. That is so we, you know, override it and stuff. That's when we have the colors pop out because they just equipped it. So that's what we're doing. And then it's just a repeat. Don't need to worry about anything. You guys don't have to worry about changing anything, by the way. Just want to let you know. Um, so yeah. And then inside this, we have a few things. Now, I want to say this real quick. If you want to make a bunch of colors, okay, like a bunch, inside here, honestly, just make it a scrolling frame. Um, and then insert everything, insert everything like this, and then do a scrolling frame. Because then you can add all the colors into there. That's pretty much simpler way of doing that so I'd recommend doing that but inside here we have a few things and I'm gonna show you how you can make your own colors and everything now there's something with remote events okay remote events um, you can send anything up to them uh, values players items IDs all this jazz and what we're doing is for the first time okay we're sending this server up we're sending uh, the just firing the server okay and that automatically sends the player up there because that's grabbing the local player but what we're doing is inside blue, green, and red, we're doing a few things, okay? We're still going to fire the left arm event. We're going to fire this one still because this is in the left arm colors. But we're going to send this thing up that says yellow, red, green, blue. This is like a quotation mark for saying an, a value. This is a value we're sending up. We're saying yellow, blue, green, orange, all that jazz. Now, if you wanted to create another one, like I said, just duplicate this. Um, name it, you know, orange, okay, and then just uh, put the color as orange. We're just going to do this for fun, and then, you know, I'll just put that lower since I guess it really shouldn't matter, and then I'm going to show you in a bit here. I want to do this, and then we're going to go right here, and then right here, and change it to orange. Now, um, you're going to have to do this for every different arm and leg, so you're going to have to do that through each script, um, each one you make, but... Of course, don't worry about it, guys. It really isn't that much of a pain. Um, just make sure to do that little time right here that says we're saying that. I'm going to show you why and what we're doing. So we're going to disable this. And visible equals off. And then we are actually going to go straight into the main script because this is pretty, pretty difficult, sort of. So inside here is the main script. Now, what we're doing is we're grabbing the services, replicated server storage and marketplace service, and then we're grabbing, I'll talk about this later, we're having glow bands events, left arm event, right leg, all that kind of jazz, and then we're grabbing the glow band, which is in server storage, right here, and then we're doing a few things, okay? Um, now, so what we're doing is, these are all the events. Now, it may look like a lot of coding, okay? Don't worry about it. Um, you don't have to worry about changing anything at the moment. So what we do is, we're, since we called the locals already, on server event, when we get that server event, we're going to grab the player and the value. So that value is what we're sending up, okay? And we're going to just do the whole thing. So when they do the left arm event, we're going to grab the character of the player, and then we're going to grab the left, left arm, which is character.left upper arm. Now guys, this does not work for R6. If you want to work for R6, you're just going to have to say like left arm. Okay, something like that. So just make sure to go look at R6 body parts. You can do that by inserting a body and looking at that. And then we're creating a new left LA is for left arm glow band, and we're just cloning that glow band. 
and then we're setting the parent to workspace dot glow parts. So we're setting the parent inside that glow, glow parts folder, and then we're creating a C frame. We're setting that glow bane's C frame to the left arm. So it's gonna just boop, just spawn right there. That's what we're doing. I would do position, but C frame is way better for this. Um, I think the only way it works actually. And then we're creating a weld, and this is where we're welding that glow band to the arm. So that's what we're doing here. Um, and you can look at all the comments, guys. It tells you everything. And then we're going to check for these values. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, wow. Hiccups again. This is what I'm talking about. We're sending those values up and we're checking if it's yellow, blue, red, or green. So what you're going to do if you're going to create another one is you're going to go right here and go else if val equals equals. And then we're going to say orange because we just created orange. Then new left orange globan dot brick color because that is a brick we're going to change that we're going to do brick color dot new and then we're going to do orange just search up orange let's say neon orange bright yellowish orange daisy orange let's do daisy orange that'd be kind of cool so then we check right here we'll just add a little comment for fun and we'll say if they did orange so that's what we're doing we're checking this value that we're sending up and we're just going to change it now if they don't do any of this then like ignore it like it's just gonna be like this like they're just gonna do that but when they select the colors it's gonna be like that now like i said you're gonna have to copy and paste everything this is all copy and paste it it's the same thing so right glow band right arm right leg event and all that jazz but if you add a new color make sure to go in here and then okay so like right here you can just go down in here you can honestly just copy this and then just go right here s if val equals orange and then we'll just go right here and change it so that's all you got to do um, but I, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. So it's all copy and paste from there. So don't really worry about it. I'm going to show you that the orange does work in a second here, but talking about the GUI version, I left this down here. So you can just go right here and hit control, uh, slash, and it should enable it. But what we're doing is we're going to get their user ID and the game pass ID. And then if they bought the game pass, then the GUI. Okay. So this is when we're going to put this GUI into the starter GUI. And we're gonna check, we're just gonna enable it. So it would be this GUI right here would be in starter GUI and it's gonna be disabled. And um, what we're doing is we're basically going to, um, how can I say, make it so they can see the GUI. Now you're gonna have to do your own type of thing for this. So you're gonna have to create another button. So like have a button down here that just, just do script dot parent mouse button click frame whatever equals visible now. And you're just gonna have it right when they click this, it pops up that GUI. But what this will do is it'll have this be visible. So it's not like always on your screen, you know, so you can have a button to close it and open it. But go watch my other videos on that because I think you'll be fine. And also this talks about, um, let's say you wanted to add it to my vibe GUI on the left right here. I was planning on doing that and I was just like, okay, wait, maybe the tool's better. And it is, but that's another way of doing this. So you understand what I'm trying to say. So that's pretty much that. You can just delete that if you don't want it. Um, but that's pretty much it. Honestly, it isn't that hard, guys. I believe in you. Um, but at the meantime, you know, you just have these one few things. Um, but uh, yeah, so if I were to just play here, it's just going to give me that. So let me just get that for you. Okay, so like I said, I added this color thing, and it's just exactly going to do this. So we have this yellow and then orange. This orange looks sick. Actually, it's like a better version of yellow. <laughs> so hope you get it. Understand now how that works. Pretty simple, guys. Um, but um, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Uh, by the way, my merch is coming. I got some cool merch I want to show you guys. Maybe you guys might want to get it soon because it is much better. It's custom made. So we're going to look into that later. But okay, you guys, thank you so much. Let's get to 10K. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.